What are you doing? Is that Greg from RC Driver? What are you doing here? Well, we got like a little surprise for you. What? Hopefully it didn't slide around. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Check that out, buddy. Awesome. What do you think? <laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Oh. Thank you. Not too long ago, my friends over at RC Driver Online stopped by my house with a little surprise. That surprise? the all new Arma Infraction 3S BLX. So if you haven't seen Greg's video on his surprise visit to my house, I will link it up above right here. But long story short, he and Horizon Hobby teamed up and wanted to give away one of the new Arma vehicles to a smaller YouTube channel like myself and give me an opportunity to review it and share with you guys. So thank you, Greg. Thank you, Dean. And thank you, Fast Faith over at RC Driver Online. I can't thank you guys enough. I am super excited to review this car. If you don't already, go follow Greg's social medias on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all the above. Greg's got them all and he does a really good job showcasing these cars. Also, make sure you follow Horizon Hobby on all social medias. This would not be possible without them. So Horizon, if you're listening, thank you again for this opportunity. I can't wait to show you what I have planned for this car. You already know by a bunch of my videos, I love the Arma 3S platform. I have the Typhon, I have the Sentin, I have the Granite, I have the Big Rock, I have the Vortex. I don't know if I'm missing any besides the Vendetta, maybe soon. I think they're a really good car for the price. Completely ready to run out of the box, just supply your own battery. Next to the Arma Infraction 3S BLX, on this side we have the Arma Infraction Mega. Now these cars probably share a good 95% of the same parts, but I wanted to put them side by side and show you guys some of the similarities, some of the differences, and then after that, we're gonna bash this thing in all sorts of different ways. But this thing is a real street basher, and uh, let's get into that B-roll, and let's get into the review. First things first, let's start off with the visuals. Both cars have the same exact body style. They are interchangeable. You can swap them left and right, but the color schemes are different. The 3S BLX comes in this black and tan Rusto Mod colorway, as well as a black and like a teal color. The Mega version comes in this red and blue, red, white, and blue version, as well as a black teal and it's kind of this tan color with a little bit of white in it as well. So two different color versions for both and uh, they both look really cool. I love this design of body. I think they look sweet. If you like one colorway more than the other but you have one versus the other, you can obviously swap them back and forth. Putting the bodies aside, we get into the meat and potatoes of these cars. And like I said before, about 95% of the parts are interchangeable. So if you have one, you're looking to upgrade, you can definitely do that. So let's start off at the front. Basically everything from the front and mechanically is all exactly the same. We have the same front bumper, same shock towers, same shocks, same A-arms, all that stuff is the same, but you will notice that the wheels are different. The Mega comes with these more off-road style tires that, um, like I said, they are interchangeable. So they are both 14 millimeter hex tires, so you can swap them back and forth if you're looking to bring your BLX version off-road or your Mega version on-road. You can swap those out and not have an issue. Just for reference, this is another 
brushed mega infraction that I purchased. And as you can see, the tires are completely bald on this thing. I put it on 3S power and a brushless system and burn these tires down to basically nothing after about two battery packs. So if you're going to run this thing on the street, try and get the uh, street tires or just run them down until they look like street tires. Moving back a little bit farther, you can see we get into the electronics and they both have the same Spectrum servo, but you go back a little bit farther and you get into the real differences of these cars. Obviously the Mega version has a brushed ESC here connected to this big brushed motor and it does come with a 3300 milliamp hour speed pack. Uh, nickel metal high drive battery right in the box so that's really cool to have a completely ready to run car you don't have to buy an extra battery but you can upgrade it down the road you can run this thing on a 2s lipo just got to switch over the little connectors here on the esc the blx version over here you can run on 2s and 3s we have a spectrum smart battery in there this is a 3s 500 milliamp hour 100c discharge battery I bought this separately, it fits right in here, and you will get to take advantage of those smart features when using a smart battery. The BLX version has a EC5 connector, while the brushed version has a EC3 connector. Just something to note there, you can easily swap these over. Moving back a little bit farther on the BLX version, we have a 120 amp brushless ESC as well as a 3900 kV brushless motor with a heat sink and a fan. The Mega version just has the brush motor. There's no heat sink or fan, but you can add them, and it would definitely be helpful with keeping these temperatures down on this one. Right in between all the electronics of this car, you do have the same drive shaft on both. On the BLX version here, you do have a bearing and bearing mount on the drive shaft. This will keep the drive shaft spinning very smoothly and very straight at those higher speeds. Now, I did a conversion on one of these cars uh, to brushless, and when I ran it on 3S, the drive shaft started to wobble a little bit. So you can always add the bearing and the bearing mount on the Mega version if you want to. So again, they have the same chassis, same mud guards here, same bumpers on the side. So uh, that bearing will swap over nice and easy. Moving back a little bit farther, you'll see some differences in the motor mount. The BLX version has the BLX motor mount as well as the slipper assembly. While you can see here, the brushed version does not have that BLX motor mount and has a different slipper assembly in here. Again, you can swap over these electronics right in, into the Mega version. You could even just take out the entire brushless motor assembly and put it right in here with addition to that bearing in there and this thing is ready to go on 3s brushless power that being said both cars have the same differentials which is really good and it says all of that information online i will link where you can get both of these cars down below part availability is great for both of them through horizon or any third-party vendors so as I mentioned before, the BLX version comes with the uh, brushless system as well as the new Spectrum DX3 remote. This is a great smart remote that pairs well with the smart batteries that gives you a battery level indicator. So this is a great upgrade to any BLX system because it has that smart battery capability. And uh, you have your, obviously your throttle limits on there. You also have AVC on this, which is really cool, which straightens the tires out if you're getting into those high speed drifts and speed runs. This thing will track very, very straight. Now I didn't have any range issues on the Mega and that is because it is with the SLT3 remote. Still a very good remote, but just a few less features than the DX3. We're right next door to ASP Aguam Skate Park. Let's see if we can hit some jumps with this thing.
my final thoughts, this car was just as much fun as I expected it to be. It's like the 3S, like the Sentin and the Vortex platform, but more street oriented, and it's a blast to drive around and drift around. You can't help but drift this thing around. And with that drifting comes bald tires. These things are basically shot. I ran them at the skate park. I ran them up and down my road outside my house. And I also ran it at Lime Rock Park recently. I might put a video out of just that footage, but uh, these tires held up pretty well. I didn't really get them to smoke too much uh, just driving them around. I think it's kind of more if you push it against the wall and do a burnout, you'll get those tires to smoke. But I wanted to save these as much as possible and kind of just give them, give them the beans around uh, wherever I drove it. But uh, that's enough rambling. This car is a great addition to any car collector's collection that is. And uh, I forgot to mention, it actually comes with a 26 tooth pinion in the box that I have yet to install. So I will definitely be doing a speed run video on this car if you guys want to see it. I know there's probably a couple out there already, but uh, let me know if you want to do some speed runs on this. I will definitely uh, show that to you guys. So um, I want to say one more time, thank you again to the RC Driver Online family. Thank you again to Horizon and Arma. Uh, this car is going to get a lot of use on the channel. Um, so until the next one, thanks again for watching. Peace.